Good day. I am Tim Bray. I have been in education for 24 years, 22 of them international. I'm originally from Montana. Um, I have worked as an English teacher, a project-based learning coordinator at a school in Alaska, an EFL teacher in Turkey, um, also once here in Korea when I was here the first time, and I've been an administrator and an ed tech coach uh, over my time in education. And this is my sixth year at CDS. Uh, I'm looking forward to supporting your school in your implementation of the Dalton Plan. So we're going to start with house. <clears throat> what is house? Uh, and so in its purest form, house is a small group of students who meet daily with a teacher or teachers. Uh, and the student and teachers would stay together over several years. And the idea is to build a bond between the students and an adult. Um, so you've seen this probably in multiple places in different types and various forms. Um, but the one that's kind of like what is house that's house house is a group of students that meet year after year preferably for their entire time in middle school for example or their entire time in high school with the same teacher or teachers every year uh, so at cds we've had a couple of different iterations of this and so each division looks a little different so i'll go over that um, in high school our house is 15 minutes every day uh, after first period, and then on the week, on Friday, we have a long house, which is a 40 minute block of time. And so I'll get into what happens in each one of those in a minute, but that's what the structure is right now. 15 minutes every day, and then on Friday, a long house. In middle school, similar structure. We have 15 minutes every day after first period, and then we have long house, but long house happens on Thursday due to conflicts with our schedule. Um, we have 500 students on a campus that can take 500 students, but for example, we have two gyms, uh, one soccer field, things like that, where it's like we have to share certain spaces. We have our swimming pool, shared space. And so it just worked out better for us to have our long house in middle school and high school on different days so that there was no scheduling conflicts when we wanted to deal with uh, different, different venues. In our first program, which is our elementary school, it is 15 minutes every day. And what it is is what we sometimes refer to as carpet time. So they're just students together with a teacher on the carpet. They go over their schedule and their goals for the day. So it looks a little different there. Um, for house activities and planning, we have a committee of teachers that includes an administrator and it includes the representatives from student council. Um, and then student council often helps implement whatever the house plan is, especially on long house. On long house days, uh, a lot of those activities are managed by the student council now. Uh, but this has been several years in the process. It didn't start like that, but that's what it's eventually led to. Um, and so that's in the middle school. Um, we give the student council quite a bit of responsibility, um, but it's kind of a build up process. The sixth graders are less involved in the intense planning and and, and implementation than like the eighth graders. Eighth graders take point more in the middle school. Same kind of happens in the high school. The students that have been on student council for several years are usually the point people. They get support from the other students on student council. Um, examples of things that happen in house. So in our high school, uh, Monday is a check-in day. Um, students sit in a circle, teacher asks them like, hey, was your week? How was the last week? How was your weekend? What things do you need to accomplish this week? Um, on Tuesday, it's often board games. Um, and so each house uh, has, a board, has a set of board games that we can get or that you can check out from the office. And then each Tuesday, they spend some time playing games. The kids really seem to like it. They have a good time together. On Wednesdays, we have what we call What's Up Wednesday, which is our news program. And so it's student generated. Um, it's another group of students. We have a couple of students from student council that also work on What's Up Wednesday, but they're not necessarily the same kids. And so that happens on Wednesdays. And so the 15 minutes, probably 10 to 12 minutes of it is them watching What's Up Wednesday. They go through announcements, they go through uh, student recognition things, they'll do, basically everything you'd normally do uh, with your bulletin, but it's just a video format and it's live streamed. Um, and then they're all archived. And so students can go back and watch What's Up Wednesday whenever they want. And there's links on our school website. 
There's the activity, and I just put activity in, in, in there because it depends. It, it varies. Like we we mix it up. Um, each week it's something different. It's planned by the teachers and the student council. Um, it's short, obviously, because it's only 15 minute time slot, and so it fits in that time frame. But it varies week to week. Friday, in short, the normal house, well, short house, we have trivia, um, and how that looks is there's a live streamed trivia competition the students interact in real time they answer the questions and then once they can answer the questions completely they have to find our administrator who's who's actually doing it he live streams from somewhere in the building they never know exactly where and the students have to go locate him and and give him the paper with the correct answers if an answer is incorrect they have to go back to their house and correct them, their mistake and then try to go and find him again, which they, he never moves around after he's in that same spot. He stays there. Uh, Longhouse on Friday is usually saved for house versus house competitions. So two houses will get together and have a team building activity or a competition against each other. And those houses are mixed up throughout the year. So each time you don't usually do the same house. Um, lately, what we've deployed is sort of like for one month. So for one month, the two houses will be the same. And then the next month, your house, you switch and you get with another house. In middle school, uh, Monday, same thing. A uh, little different here as in middle school, it's the entire grade level. So for example, we have two sixth grade classes. The whole sixth grade group meets together and they have two house teachers. This is why I said before about teacher or teachers. And so in the middle school, there's two teachers, they're assigned to a grade level. On normal days, they have the house split amongst themselves. During Monday, though, they have everyone together. Uh, they usually do a small activity slash check-in that day. Tuesdays is silent sustained reading. Um, and so all the students reading have a book. Um, that's usually not an issue, but in the past, we've had a couple of students who are like, I don't really want to read or I don't have a book. We do have some house teachers have books. They know their kids. If they know that they have a reluctant reader, they'll make sure that there's a book there for them so they don't have to like count on the kid to bring it. But I would say 99% of our students are loving SRS or SSR. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, also on Wednesday, they also do the middle school version of What's Up Wednesday. It's also done live stream. Um, the students really enjoy it. They have interviews with students. They talk about the activities for the week, things that happened last week, sporting events and whatnot. Uh, Thursday is also SSR, so we do it twice a week. Thursday's Longhouse is for what we call Dalton Cup. In the middle school and in elementary school, all of the students are broken into four houses um, based on the elements, so earth, wind, fire, water. And they do competitions, and those competitions add points, and their house builds up a certain points. So it has sort of the same idea of a Harry Potter kind of the movies where they had a house and like, like four houses and they compete against each other. That's what our elementary and middle school do. That We stop doing that really in high school, and the houses are just kind of independent. Um, and then Friday, we have special topics. And again, they're all together. So the entire grade level, like all of the seventh graders are together in a room, and they talk about... For example, bullying, uh, they'll do role plays, those kind of activities.